Hello friends, in this video we are going to study the nature of flow when it flows between two stationary plates. So let's move on to video. Let's start with actual derivation. Suppose there are two plates. This is first plate. This is second plate. These plates are actually stationary. So shown symbolically in the diagram. There exists a flow of a fluid in the direction as shown in figure. For study purpose, we will consider a element A, B, C, D. On this element A, B, C, D, there exist two type of forces. First is regular force due to pressure and second is shear force. The phases on which these forces are acting are also different that are shown in the diagram as shown in figure. Say for example, if this is the direction of flow, then it is clear that say for example, this is point 1 and this is point 2. So for this direction, there will be the dimension of pressure as P and P plus dabba by dabba x dx where this dx is nothing but the distance in x direction. We are considering axis system as this is x direction and this is y direction. So we are considering the forces acting on an element. If I want to draw this element in three dimensions, so it will look something like this a box like this let the width of the box is 1 so whatever will be the area in that the dimension 1 will be arised if necessary so this pressure multiply by area dy into 1 this dy into 1 pressure into area gives us the value of force so there are two forces this is the first force and this is the force in opposite direction these are generated due to pressure acting in the pipe element now there are total four forces out of which we have seen two there are again two forces these are the shear forces these are the shear forces if i want to consider the intensity of shear stress let that shear stress is tau and tau plus dabba by dabba y into dy where dy is nothing but the height of the element see this is the height of the element this height is nothing but the dy it is in y direction hence we have noted it as dy so dabba by dabba y into dy is nothing but the rate of change of shear stress with respect to y direction so that shear stress multiply by area in this case the area suffered is nothing but the dx this dx into 1 i am hatching that area as shown in figure so that stress multiply by area will be the force so there are total four forces on acting four different edges and so there are total four forces which are acting on four different faces having different directions as shown in figure so we will consider a equilibrium so for steady and uniform flow steady and uniform flow means it is having constant discharge at all the times as well as constant cross section at all the locations. So it is clear that resultant force that is sum of all forces in the direction of flow is zero 
so considering positive and negative signs according to our regular conventions that is positive side of x this positive side of x indicates positive force and negative considers as negative so we can write down our equation this p into dy into 1 minus p plus daba p by daba x into dx into dy into 1 these are the two forces due to pressure minus tau dx into 1 plus tau plus daba tau by daba y dy this is the rate of change of shear stress into dx into 1 so these two are the forces generated due to shear stresses and due to equilibrium condition sum will be equal to 0 so actually when we multiply this term with this bracket we will have a common term as p dy and this p i am cancelling it similarly this tau dx into 1 into this tau into dx into 1 will get cancelled so remaining term becomes daba p by daba x into dx into dy plus daba tau by daba y into dy into dx equal to 0 so if we consider this minus sign minus sign for this side so if we take this term on opposite side we will have these two terms dx dy on both sides we can cancel them out and we can directly write the result as daba p by daba x is equal to daba tau by daba y technically speaking this term indicates that rate of change of pressure with respect to horizontal distance is equal to this rate of change of shear stress with respect to vertical distance so this is very important relation which will be helpful for further analysis or further distributions of velocities and stresses in next videos so that's all thank you